Oh boy, did you catch Live Golf's latest tournament in Tulsa on the CW Network? It was a real nail-biter. We're talking about a playoff between the tour's top players, Dustin Johnson and Cameron Smith, and of course, Brandon Grace. But if you were in some parts of the U.S. hoping to catch the extra holes, you might have been in for a surprise. Instead of watching the pros battle it out, you were shown an alternative dynamic duo, Penn and Teller. Yep, that's right. So what happened, and how does this affect Liv going forward? Stay tuned, we promise not to cut this one short. The CW pulled off a magic trick that even David Copperfield would be impressed with. They made the final few holes of the tournament just disappear from TV screens. And it wasn't just in New York where this happened, oh no. This was a national phenomenon thanks to Liv's TV deal with the CW. You see, Liv pays for all the broadcast costs and gets a split of the ads in return. It's like they're playing a game of let's split the bill but with TV networks. And it's not just the affiliates who seem to be underwhelmed by Live Golf. With meager TV ratings from its first few events in 2023, it's starting to feel like a Penn and Teller special would have made more sense for these affiliates to show. Live fans may have been able to catch the tournament's conclusion on the CW app, but we're pretty sure they would have preferred to see it on their TV screens instead of their tiny phones. With the extra holes, there was no chance to extend the TV broadcast due to the rain delay. It was frustrating for fans eagerly waiting to see an exciting finish. Some people are comparing it to the infamous Heidi game from 1968, when NBC switched off the Jets Raiders game and missed two Oakland touchdowns in the final minute. But come on, people, it's 2023. Let's learn from our mistakes and keep those sports broadcasts on the air past their allotted time, even if they're still ongoing. Because who knows what exciting finish you could be missing out on. The Live had itself a banging event in Tulsa, drawing huge crowds and a nail-biting finish. The stage was set for an epic showdown that even Hollywood couldn't have scripted. Well, picture this. Dustin Johnson striding confidently toward the 18th hole on a sunny Sunday evening. The tension is palpable as Brandon Grace and Cameron Smith, the tournament co-leaders, are already in the clubhouse one stroke ahead of Johnson 16 under. The fate of the tournament hangs in the balance as Johnson takes his shot. Will he make birdie and force a playoff? Or will he miss and be forced to watch from the sidelines like a kid picked last for kickball? It's enough to make even the most stoic golfer break a sweat. But not Johnson. No, he's as cool as a cucumber in a salad. The crowd erupts into cheers as Johnson pumps his fist in the air like he's just won the lottery. Grace and Smith exchange nervous glances as they realize they're about to be joined in the playoff by the man the myth, the legend, Dustin Johnson. Now the moment we've all been waiting for, a playoff between two of the most recognizable players in live, Johnson and Smith. The CW must have been feeling like they hit the jackpot. Playoffs are always the most watched moments of golf tournaments, and with the assurance of witnessing the tournament deciding moment, fans flood their screens. It's like the Super Bowl of golf, with less food and more khakis. But just as Johnson's birdie putt drops, sending the tournament into a three-way playoff, the lead broadcaster Arlo White chimes in with a quick note for viewers at home. Hey, don't forget, folks, you can also catch this nail-biting action on the CW app. Talk about a buzzkill. Thanks for reminding us that we could be watching this on our phones instead of the big screen. In any case, a three-way playoff is still exciting, even if it means adding another 30 minutes of high-stakes action. We're all just here for the excitement and the chance to escape our mundane lives for a few hours. And if we're lucky, we'll even see someone break a club or throw a tantrum. Hey, we can dream, can't we? As the clock struck 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time and the playoff began, Fans in major markets like New York, Dallas, Philadelphia, and Chicago were in for a rude awakening. Affiliates in these markets started switching off from the tournament, resuming their standard programming. That's right, folks, just as the tournament was heating up, viewers in these markets were treated to the joys of unwanted sitcom reruns and news shows. Because nothing says excitement like a rerun of Friends from 1998. 
The only way for viewers in these markets to catch the rest of the tournament was through the Live Golf Plus and CW apps. Imagine watching viewers frantically switch between channels and apps, trying to catch a glimpse of the action. It must have been like a game of musical chairs. Liv's dream viewership turned into a nightmare faster than a golfer's swing. Fans on social media were spitting mad at the network's decision, and Liv is feeling the heat. It's like they accidentally landed in the rough instead of the fairway. And let's not forget about the lost viewership from those key markets. That is like missing a hole-in-one by an inch. Talk about a major disappointment for the league's advertising and sponsor interests. It's enough to make any golfer throw their clubs in frustration. Some Live Tide accounts pointed out that this decision is similar to the coverage gaps we see from PGA Tour broadcast partners. You know, those lovely moments when you're watching your favorite golfer sink a putt, and suddenly the screen goes black, and you're left wondering if your TV just had a stroke. But unlike those coverage gaps, which usually happen before the weekend coverage, Liv's disappearance occurred right in the middle of the tournament's most crucial stretch. Talk about bad timing. That's like taking a bathroom break during the Masters and missing Tiger Woods making a historic comeback. It's a cardinal sin, people. Now, the PGA Tour's broadcast partners might have their flaws, but they wouldn't dare pull a stunt like that. In fact, just a few weeks ago, NBC extended their coverage by over 90 minutes to show the completion of the Chevron Championship. And guess what? They broke some record ratings along the way. That's right, people actually want to watch golf. Who knew? So, CW, if you're listening, it's time to take a page out of NBC's book and give the people what they want. We don't want to miss a single moment of the action, even if it means sacrificing our bathroom breaks and our beer runs. Because let's face it, in the world of golf, anything can happen at any given moment, and we don't want to miss a single stroke of it. Liv may have shot themselves in the foot with their latest coverage decision. We're not sure how many viewers they lost, but let's be honest, trying to figure out the league's TV audience sizes is about as easy as hitting a straight shot after a few too many beers. According to reports from the Sports Business Journal, the CW Network has made it crystal clear to all their 210 local stations that they are committed to keeping the live tournament on the airwaves until the very last putt drops. No more premature endings, no more golf fans left hanging like a ball stuck in a tree. In a statement released by Liv, the CW Network expressed their dedication to the cause, saying, Liv Golf and CW Sports are learning together what will delight our fans and grow our franchises, and we're proud that we are nimble and able to make adjustments as these learnings are made available. Now that's what I call a network with some serious follow-through. So, grab your popcorn, find a comfy spot on the couch, and get ready for a new era of live golf. Now, with the guaranteed full support of the CW Network, it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy the full swing of golfing action, knowing that the live tournament will be broadcast from start to finish, forever and ever. So, what do you think of this mishap? Were you bothered by it? Let us know in the comment section below. And as always, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more golf news.